in my pit box. You can hear something in the creek. loaded up heading over to mr billy long's house factory racing uh down here in mobile he uh he has a real rigid mx uh camp that he runs <laughs> now nah, he he's he's the uncle that got me into racing but we're we're loaded up we're about to head that way i've had like two hours of sleep in the past 48 hours still got work tonight and then we're leaving out tomorrow but i just i seen this and i just i couldn't couldn't freaking help it you know, just, for a 2014 this bike oh i love this bike matter of fact uh billy he is the one that pretty much put me on this bike yeah, woohoo, VP baby. So, it was a friend of his. They had to rebuild it, and uh, it was actually in pieces when I bought it. But this has got to be by far the best bike I've ever owned. And we're going to go try and run Mill Creek and get a good result. So, We'll get an update once we get on the road tomorrow. It's Thursday. Uh, as far as I know, I'm racing Sunday. I don't know if Billy's going to be racing Saturday or Sunday. But yeah, it's going to be fun. So I'm out here walking around the uh, the long MX training facility. And last time I was out here, I did two jumps that I was freaking terrified of. They, I didn't, it wasn't clean, let's put it that way. I, mean, I, I jumped them, but that was, I just made it. One of them, I'm going to show you, it's one of the most misleading jumps out here. I'd, I'd say the most misleading. So, I'll run you through this real quick. So, come from that direction, come right around here, and you hit this little berm right here, there's this little bitty double, you know, kind of a little longer than what I have at my track. And go from there to there, and it's downhill, so you can jump the shit out of it if you wanted to. So, what I do, because I was more worried about the next jump, Go around this berm right here. I was getting set up for this jump. Now as we're walking up to this jump, you can kind of see it doesn't look horrible. And it's not when you jump it. I mean, even right here, I'm standing at the base of the jump. And it looks like that's right there. Just no problem. Let's walk around the other side real quick. Side view real quick. So, I don't know if I can back up far enough. So, here's the takeoff. That point that I was pointing at. Oh, unfocus, focus. It's right there. So this... And you're literally jumping all the way to right here. Walk up this thing real quick. This kind of gauges it a little better as to what it's really like. So I'm there to here. Now, I say misleading. That's still smaller than two of his tabletops are actually smaller than all three of his tabletops he's got out here but here's the thing this jump i swear is made for chickens like me because it 
you just go down that way you go around that big tree and you come back bah, 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 hit the tabletop turn do a lap but here's the thing I get up on top of this jump I'm, see if I can get just the lip in with it so yeah you can jump right there is pretty much where you need you see it's in line you can jump way over here which is probably another 10 feet longer or you can jump to right here which is like 10 feet away and let me tell you something this he's built every jump out here on this track to be clearable not something you just gotta freaking wrap it out pin it and hope for the best i mean even his big kind of tabletop here this thing i mean you come out of this corner you hit this and there's the landing over there i haven't cleared that one yet and he's even said that's one of the easiest jumps on the track just because i mean the face on this thing is freaking massive so i'm gonna walk over here and man stepped in ants like i stepped in them y'all hear me yell and see the phone fly then you'll know i really stepped in it <laughs> Anyway, let's take a look at this freaking face on this thing. This is, I mean, that's, that's a jump face right there. That is a freaking jump face. Let me see if I can kind of get some perspective here. So I'm going to set y'all on the ground. I say that. I'm going to find me a proper holding device. Redneck engineering. I got one. So, this jump face. I'm six feet. Um, I mean, technically, the bottom's right here. But that, I mean, this thing. Chicken. I can't clear. Big chicken. But I'm gonna show you something. Even me, usually I'm I haven't rode it since I've actually started racing C class and doing these off-road races. But second gear my video cut off. <laughs> Anyways, he's just said have somebody here because he knows that uh the stuff can get hairy and it takes one wrong twist on a dirt bike to put you in the dirt and uh, really mess you up. I mean, he's he's been through his share of injuries. I've been lucky. Uh, matter of fact, the only major out here is after jumping this tabletop. I landed here sideways and bounced my head off the ground right there. And then tried to ride again and threw up because apparently that's what concussions do to you. Who'd have knew? But yeah, so kind of a, a little showcase of what he's been doing to prep. I've been off road, you know, hadn't been on a motocross track in like a year or so. I'm gonna try and qualify for a national because that's what that's what winners do. But yeah, so. We're gonna get this stuff loaded up. Hopefully uh, I can get him on camera here when we're ready to roll out. It's 10.30 at night. Probably notice I'm in a vehicle, not at work. Uh, yeah, had a very interesting day today. My car broke and my wife was driving it. And I actually had to call off. Six hours, seven, I think. Lovely weather we have. 
we made it about halfway. We're at the Walmart getting everything uh, for the weekend. Got the factory racer uh, Billy Wrong here. <laughs> yeah, it's uh, been a nice trip so far. Hopefully this weather goes away so we don't have a muddy track, but if we do, <laughs> I'm good in the mud. Always breaking shit. <laughs> had, a, had a jack start to lower on us. Uh, we got a little bad. We stopped for some food. And uh, yeah, good thing he caught that because that would have been Well, we made it. It's uh, it's raining a little bit. Track looks great though. It really does. Lots of people here, which I'm gonna kind of show that later. But uh, the whole way up here, every time we would stop, it'd be clear we'd get out and start raining. And uh, so they told us if it happened again here, they were gonna make us stay in our RV. And, and that's what we get. It's gonna be a fun weekend, man. We just watched the big bike free practice and it's it looks, looks good. I think I'm gonna love this freaking track. Day two out here, uh, Mill Creek MX. It rained and stormed all last night until about 9.30 this morning and rained a shitload yesterday. I mean, you can st still see weather's overcast. It's a little breezy, but it's not raining now. So the guys that are racing today, it, it's going to be a mud fest. I mean, there's there's absolutely no way it can dry out before the racing uh, the classes that are racing later today might have a chance but other than that it's it's gonna be bad but i'm not racing today neither is uncle billy we're racing tomorrow uh this is actually pretty nice to be able to sleep at the track last night uh of course he's got his motorhome trailer pulling behind it with everything in it but it was kind of funny with all the rain, especially where we were parked. <laughs> we were thinking we were gonna get caught in a landslide because uh, you got us right here, and you got about 10, 12 foot. And that's a long ways down. <laughs> Wouldn't make for a fun ride. But I just heard the guy on the announcements, he's, should be getting stuff started about 15 minutes from now. Let's see, it's 10 o'clock right now, so. Hopefully I can get some good pictures and good uh, good video today. And then tomorrow, depending on how our races are kind of staggered, me and Uncle Billy's gonna try and get pictures and videos of everybody else too, so. Should be a good day. We can get up, get walking around, get the blood flowing. See y'all later. Mill Creek trying to get the tracks straightened out. Don't think they're going to need the water trucks today. Still see there's still some standing water. Got some down in the corner down there. Look like they're doing a good job though, man. They're trying.
another big bike practice.
So, some good racing yesterday. It's day two. Uh, just got the practice list right up here. So far, um, practice three, Billy's practice five. But other than that, we really don't know. So we're getting the bikes ready. We're gonna try and at least stay up during practice. Let's see what happens. All right, so got the genetic stuff set up. We got the bikes out, ready to rock. Everything's good. Uh, like I said earlier, I'm in third practice. Billy is in fifth with all the fast guys. We haven't figured out a race order yet. Finally woke up. <laughs> but uh, it's it's good. If, uh, you, if anybody ever sees me at the race and ever sees any of the genetics, genetics dispensary stuff out, feel free to take a sample of anything you see on the table. If you see me there, come and talk to me just uh even if it's a hey what's up seeing you on facebook instagram youtube anything like that just say hey you know i i like to see that people are actually uh actually looking at this stuff it makes me feel good but yeah so anything y'all ever see out there's uh free i will never charge for anything at my races unless i have a distributor asking me to and they haven't <laughs> but uh also once again everything that genetics offers is online geneticsdispensary.com uh there's a link below enter gd20 at checkout and get 20 percent off something that they do to kind of help out everybody eat just interested if you don't see something on there that you want or you just kind of have more questions give them a call uh, I have both their numbers posted and then you can also see both their numbers on there call either one of them uh, anybody that answers is gonna be able to answer any questions you have and uh, they can actually place an order over the phone too cash credit card uh everything but personal favors that's pretty much it but we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna get ready to race here at mill creek mx the place is awesome the track looks amazing unfortunately i just keep seeing more and more fast people roll in <sighs> which means they're either gonna be in mine or my uncle's class but yeah, so fun day. Let's see how it goes.
both of my motors done. Sucked on both of them. Fell down. Didn't get hurt. Bike's good, but wasn't happy with it. Hey, anytime you walk away, the now, bike, no injuries, that's a good day. Yeah. Now, this man right here, <coughs> I think freaking got the qualifying spot first moto. Now, he's just got to do it again. Carrying the team. Team. I don't even know what to call us, misfits or something. But about to <coughs> get some batteries in the other camera, go watch some racing, get some videos and pictures of him, wrap up this video. Places. He's almost in the top ten. Get him, Billy. Definitely into that race. Yeah, right Snap that thing in the middle. I think the guy went Going fast. Damn. So, back at work. Uh, this weekend didn't go the way, the way either me or uh, Billy planned. Luckily, we're both all right. It, really, all he's got is a clutch cable to replace. I believe he's gonna try and go to DeSoto MX and try and qualify there. As for me, I'm just gonna I'm gonna take that as a as a learning experience and try and get better. You know, that's all I really can do. I had fun. It was a new track, you know, I got got to see a lot of areas that I'm still weak on on motocross tracks and on the bike in general. So I'm not going to count it as a loss. I'm going to count it as fun and a learning experience. But hopefully this video was a little better. Got a lot more riding footage, uh, you know, with the kids, some of the open pro sport guys, the 30-plus uh, class and Uncle Billy's class, which he was – the class you seen him race was a 50-plus class. So for those of you that think you're too old to ride a bike, nah, there were 63-year-olds out there mixing it up. So – until next time, uh, once again, all of the links of the of my sponsors that I represent, Genetics, Cycle Gear, Rep, uh, Rep Energy Drink, or Raise Energy Drinks, and Rep Sports, and uh, a couple of other ones. I know I got Motion Pro. All of their links and promo codes will be down in the description. That way, if y'all decide to uh, 
check out some of their stuff get you a little little bit of money off your purchase and uh, kind of help you out there so hope y'all have a nice rest of the week as you can see it's it's back raining our rain curse got back so till next time y'all stay safe